the mass testing of an entire city, carried out by an army, to bring a deadly virus under control. This is Liverpool. The city's mayor is joining volunteers, taking part in a project that could help this city and the country out of lockdown. It's important for the city that we bring this virus back under control. This is a way of doing that. It means that we can identify asymptomatic people, people who have the virus and don't know they've got it. And it will actually help the government uh, from a national perspective get on top of this as well as it's rolled out across the UK. Queuing up inside one of the six testing sites is David Sung. His swab can be turned around using a lateral flow test in about an hour without the need for a lab. I think if the test is it's just as easy as, as uh, the experience I've had today, uh, I don't see uh, any real problems why people shouldn't be up for taking a test. Because they're all, you know, the, the more information that the people in control have, the more they can contain it and view where it actually goes. Liverpool has one of the highest COVID-19 infection rates in the country. Identifying who is carrying the virus can stop its spread. This isn't the first time the army has been called upon to help with the national COVID-19 effort. There were the Nightingale hospitals, the distribution of the PPE, and now this, the mass testing. That tells you everything you need to know about the scale of the challenge facing the country. Any operation this size needs the logistical expertise only the army can bring. 2,000 soldiers have been deployed here. Moving up Wednesday, training on Thursday. They've only been here 48 hours, and here we are, Friday lunchtime, and the first asymptomatic test centre is open. Nothing like this has been done in this country before. If it works, a UK-wide mass testing strategy could follow a significant step in containing this virus. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Liverpool.